evening, everyone, and welcome as we gather here to celebrate our morning prayer. Today we celebrate the feast of Saint Matthew, Apostle and Evangelist. Our morning prayer is taken from the Common of Apostles, page 1004. For Psalms and Canticle, it's taken from Sunday, week one, page 390. And for Benedictus Antivon and Concluding Prayer, from page 889. O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. O fathers of our ancient faith, with all the heavens we sing your fame, whose sun went forth in all the earth to tell of Christ and bless his name. You took the gospel to the poor, the word of God the light in you, which in your day is told again. That time has this word forever new. You, you told of God who died for us, and of death, of the triumphant rose, who gave the truth and made us free, and changed us to the ages ghost. Great Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, whose gift is faith that never dies, a light in darkness now until the days are in our hearts arise. To you, O God, I keep vigil at dawn to look upon your power. Alleluia. O God, you are my God, for you I long, for you my soul is thirsty. My body pines for you like a dry, weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary. You see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life. In your name I will. My shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you, and you are amused through the night. You have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. To you, O God, I keep vigil at dawn. Look upon your power. Alleluia. A man can have no greater love than to lay down his life for his friends. O all you works of the Lord, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you angels of the Lord, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. Sun and moon, O oh bless the Lord, and you stars of the heavens, O oh bless the Lord, and showers of rain, O oh bless the Lord, to him be highest glory and praise forever. And you all, you breezes and winds, O oh bless the Lord, and you fire and heat, O oh bless the Lord, and you cold and heat, O oh bless the Lord, to him be highest glory and praise forever. And you, you showers and dew, oh bless the Lord. And you frost and cold, oh bless the Lord. And you frost and snow, oh bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. 
a new night, time and day, O bless the Lord, a new darkness and light, O bless the Lord, a new lightning and clouds, O bless the Lord, to him be highest glory and praise forever. O let the earth bless the Lord, to him be highest glory and praise forever. A new mountains and hills, O bless the Lord, a new all plants of the earth, O bless the Lord, a new fountains and springs, O bless the Lord, to him be highest glory and praise forever. A new rivers and seas, O bless the Lord, a new creatures of the sea, O bless the Lord, every bird in the sky, O bless the Lord, a wild beast and tame, O bless the Lord, to him be highest glory and praise forever. A new children of men, O bless the Lord, to him be highest glory and praise forever. O Israel, o bless the Lord, o bless, o bless the Lord. Lord. You priests of the Lord, O bless the Lord. And you servants of the Lord, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you spirits and souls of the just, O bless the Lord. And you holy and humble of heart, O bless the Lord. Ananias, Azariah, Bezael, O bless the Lord, to him be highest glory and praise forever. Let us praise the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, you be highest glory and praise forever. May you bless the Lord in the heavens, you be highest glory and praise forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning. A man can have no greater love than to lay down his life for his friends. Let Zion's sons exult in their king, alleluia. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let, Let Israel rejoice in his maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing, make music with timbre and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in his glory. Shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and the two-edged sword in their hand. Deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment in all the peoples to bind their kings in chains, the nobles and fetters of iron. Carry the sentence preordained. His honour is for all his faithful. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let Zion's sons exult in their King. Alleluia. The scripture reading is taken from the letter to the Ephesians. You are no longer aliens in a foreign land, but fellow citizens with God's people, members of God's household. You are built upon the foundation laid by the apostles and prophets, and Christ Jesus himself is the foundation stone. In him the whole building is bonded together and grows into a holy temple in the Lord. In him, you too are being built with all the rest into a spiritual dwelling for God.
You will make them rulers over all the land. You will make them rulers over all the land. Your name, Lord, will be remembered. You will make them rulers over all the land. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. You will make them rulers over all the land. Jesus saw a man called Matthew seated in the tax office and said to him, Follow me. And he rose and followed him. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who brings the dawn and darkest night to spells, who raises up a mighty Savior from the earth, of David's line, a son of royal birth. Prophets tell a story just begun, of language no and glorious victory won, a promise made to all who keep the law as guide, God's faithful love and mercy will abide. This is the old born sworn to Abraham, all shall be free to dwell upon the land, free now to praise and harm by the oppressor Lord. Holy and righteous in the sight of God, and you, my child, and say you shall be called the promised one, the prophet of our God. For you will go before the Lord to clear your way and shepherd all into the light of day. The tender love of God from from our birth is soon to dawn upon the shadowed earth. To shine on those who sorrow seem to never cease, to guide our feet into the path of peace. All glory be to God, Creator blessed, to Jesus Christ, God's love made manifest, and to the Holy Spirit, gentle Comforter. All glory be both now and evermore. Jesus saw a man called Matthew seated at the tax office, he said to him, follow me, and he rose and followed him. We bring our intercessions before God, and our response is, Lord, the apostles sing your praises. Lord, the apostles sing your praises. Since we have received, received from the apostles our heavenly inheritance, let us thank our Father for all his blessings. Lord, the apostles sing your praises. Praise to you, Lord God, for the gift of Christ's body and blood handed on by the apostles to give us strength and life. Lord, the apostles sing your praises. For the table of your word served by the apostles to bring us light and joy. Lord, the apostles sing your praises. For your holy church built on the apostles to make us all one body. Lord, the apostles sing your praises. For the washing of baptism and penance entrusted, entrusted to the apostles to cleanse our hearts from sin. Lord, the apostles sing your praises. And we pray together, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, you showed your great mercy to Matthew, the tax gatherer, by calling him to become your apostle. Supported by his prayer and example, may we always answer your call and live in close union with you. Through Christ our Lord, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirits. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Our Mass will be at 9.30.